Breakfast is the most important meal because you're gonna work all day long and you've gotta have all the energy you can get. You gotta have bacon, you ain't, you ain't got breakfast without bacon. You know, cook kind of slow and don't, you know, where you can get it good and crisp without getting it real hard. You know, bunch of biscuits, bunch of everything. It didn't matter what you cooked, they ate it. He would sleep late in the mornings after they had a football game or what have you. When he would wake up and he was ready to get up and eat his breakfast, he'd bang on the wall so I could hear him. <laughs> and I would go and open the door and sit down on the bed and chit chat a minute. Then he would get up and have his breakfast. Get up about four, uh, get dressed, go out, go after the cows that were all over the place, wash the cows, get the machines on them, milk. That was our morning. In here, we was milking about 125. And, you know, and it would help, I think it hold 19 at a time, something like that. I guess it never was a question, you know, everybody just got up and did what they had to do. I think it's just made him the way he knows that it, in order to get something done, you gotta work. And it just takes work in football and whatever you do. He didn't want to milk for the rest of his life. A lot of things like that, it caused him to realize that uh, they probably need to do something else besides farm. <laughs> I coached a little league and high school in football and junior high in football. And hey, I can still see those uh, black and red uniforms on the field out there. And uh, a lot of years, I know uh, we won uh, like 33 football games in three years and went to state playoff and was, went to the finals of the state. Yeah, all of those memories. A lot of years of hard work, you know, uh, and uh, a lot of Young men went through here and, and done really well. And uh, at one time, there was a little practice field over here, and we were out there practicing in, 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 before they built that building. And uh, he come across and crawl up in the grass over there and watch practice uh, under the fence over there. He'd be laying up in the grass. <laughs> he was, he, matter of fact, on the sideline over here ever since he was big enough to carry a water bottle. Uh, and, uh, he had his little khaki pants and red shirt, and he just, just one of the managers had, had, when he was just very, very, very young. When they were smaller, on Saturday was the big football day, you know, for all of us, us family. They would put about three or four TVs, whatever they could find, and each one was on a different channel. Football was a big thing. I don't think he even realized that he was going to coach until he was maybe a sophomore or junior in college. He was a leader, and, and most of the kids at church, you know, looked up to him. Kids at school looked up to him. That was evident from a very young age that uh, he was a leader. I think he would want to be remembered as somebody who led many to Christ and that uh, wanted to live that kind of life, and then, of course, he wanted to be successful in football. And I think that it will be that he was a good father, husband, son, all of it. Best legacy you could leave, I guess. <laughs>